simply getting out of control. The shooter, Gavin Long, killed three officers and wounded three others in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Sunday. In the weeks prior to the shooting, Long posted multiple videos on social media advocating black power. Here he is two days after the Dallas shooting that took place a week ago. 100% of revolutions of Victims fighting their oppressors from victims fighting their bullies 100% have been successful through fighting back, through bloodshed. Zero have been successful just over simply protesting. It doesn't, it has never worked and it never will. You gotta fight back. That's the only way a bully knows to quit. He doesn't know words. He can't understand words, I promise you. He doesn't understand protests. If y'all wanna keep protesting, do that. But for the serious ones, the real ones, the alpha ones, we know what it's gonna take. He also supported uh, supportive tweets of the Dallas shooter and according to a former high school classmate, he recently converted to Islam. Joining me now is former NYPD Special Investigator Michael Solomon from Florida. Also here with us in the studio is Tom Ruskin, an NYPD detective, retired, and also former NYPD detective Graham Weatherspoon. Man, I'm, I'm surrounded by cops. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I That's like it. I it like is. it. I think it's a good thing. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, Tom, I'm going to uh, go to you first. I don't know how many times you've been on my show now. Mm -hmm. It seems as if we're just replaying the same tape over and over. Not only are we playing the same thing, it's not along racial lines anymore. When you have a guy who's looking to kill cops, it doesn't matter white, black, as long as they're wearing blue. I mean, myself and Graham have been there when you hear the shots going off. Those tapes, I'm sure with Graham too, send like, just make my skin quiver because I've been there, I've heard it, I've heard cops calling 1013, officer needs assistance. Mm -hmm. This has got to stop in this country. This rhetoric has to stop. And the assault on police officers has to stop. If a cop is bad, I think we all can agree that they should pay much more than a normal person who's arrested. Mm -hmm. But the assault on police officers has to stop and the country has, the rhetoric has to change I'm upset by a cop being killed. Michael, I'm going to go to you for a second here. I mean, sure. I, I'm sure you would reflect the same sort of words that Tom just had. But I want to ask you something more specific. What, if you had to drill it down in less than a minute, what is driving this? What's driving this is we've got two wars going on in America. You've got ISIS and you'll get a war against the police and the president won't recognize the war against ISIS and he won't recognize the war against police which he's the one who started it he started it uh, way back when when he started with Lou uh, Gates when, um, and he had the beer summit back there and basically said police are stupid I mean he has pushed his rhetoric all the way through the biggest problem is that he, um, he, he we've got a movement out there Black Lives Matter which is splintered they don't have a leader they're not like Martin Luther King they're not peaceful at all and then you get some radicals within that group that decide they're gonna go out on their own and make a mark on their own and and it's ridiculous um, you know, in, in the last six and a half months, we've had 63 police officers killed in the line of duty, 28 by gunfire. Uh, you know, how can you have a, a high morale in a police department when you've got um, when you've got a president who gets up and he says he can understand why the community is frustrated? Community is frustrated because he frustrated them. He promised hope and change back in 2008, and he only changes in the black community, and things have gotten worse. He has put a divide in this country that is unbelievable. Graham, and the police let, let me, are suffering. Let me, let, me, let me ask, Graham, do you agree with what it is that Michael's saying? Uh, not at all. Okay. Uh, let's, let's look at some historical facts. Number one, the shooter, as we saw a few minutes ago, said nothing positive ever came out of demonstrations. Wrong. Before he was born, South Africa, South Africa was liberated through the Soweto uprising where children came to the forefront. And he spent three years in Africa before he came back. Hey, all right. Soweto the United States as well, and the civil rights movement in this country 
prompted many other nations and people to get their freedoms from the British as well. Um, and as far as the situation here, um, we have a number of problems, systemic problems in this country. And I've been saying for years that most of the people in this country live in two states, the state of denial and the state of fear. And as long as these two states are occupied, we're going to have problems. Uh, Barack what do you mean by, what, what do you well, mean, what what do you mean mean by that? Because I'm not in denial or fear. So I, right. what, what bucket well, do I fall into? Well, you might be in the common sense bucket. Oh, there's three buckets then. <laughs> you might be in the common, but not that many people there. You see, um, we do have racial problems in this country and always have racial problems in this country. We haven't dealt with them. And if the patient will not admit that he is ill, he can't be healed. Who is the patient, though? Is the patient the cop or is the patient no, the... No, this is not the cop. This, okay. is, this is our overall society. What about the fact that we have unbelievable crime in the black communities? How about the fact that we have so many girls unwed giving birth? What about this the is, fact that these kids could go out and sell dime bags because there's no jobs available for this them? This is not about black on black crime. It's not about unwed mothers. There are more abortions in Nassau County than any other place in the United States amongst white communities. All right, There aren't enough black people doing so many bad things to hold up the banner for every ill in this country. It's nonsense. More white people in this country are on welfare than there are black people. There are more white people in New York on welfare than there are black people. So I think, we, I think we, focus, we focus on black on black crime. There's white on white crime. You don't talk about that, all right? And black people are not in control of the media and what is put out. We don't talk about that, that because say. you want to, let me just say this one thing before you go in there. Because I'll tell you what, because more whites are killed by cops each year than there are blacks. True. And you don't see white people taking to the streets and making marches and then just turning around starting to sniper you, people. You don't Let see black, jump, you don't, go ahead. Let if you look jump. towards Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King would not have allowed this to go on. He would have been out there, he would have been demonstrating, and he would have been saying enough of this. I agree. We, can, we can't mm -hmm. let this. Why? Why aren't the leaders of the movement against cops coming out and saying, but this is not what we're about. This is not killing a cop, killing a white cop or a black cop or any other cop is not acceptable in our society. They're here to help us. And the majority of cops have 900,000 in this country are out there daily risking their lives as you and I did on the streets of New York. Right. To because, save you know someone why? we haven't even met. Let Michael we, jump in. Let Michael jump in and then you go. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, Michael. Because the, the reason is because there are no leaders. Look at the leaders they've got in the movements. they got the Al Sharptons. they got Jesse Jacksons. They're not leaders. We need somebody out there like a Martin Luther King or, or, or somebody who can actually lead and, and lead them peacefully. That's the problem. And who killed I mean, Martin and, Luther and King? To say, to say that there are more white people in, in, in New York on welfare, you're counting Hispanics in those numbers. I've seen I those numbers. First of all, Hispanics are not white people. That's an illusion. Yeah, they're, you, they're not. So I, don't, I don't count Hispanics as white people. They might assume it, but they're not white. Graham, let me play something, because I, I had never heard of you before. I'd never seen you before mm -hmm. on a show. Somebody sent me a clip of you, mm -hmm. and I said, oh, i got to have him on the show. I, did you just, if I know, the, I think you filmed this last week, after the shooting, in um with with Dallas. uh no with castile and uh reynolds with the facebook live i okay. forget where the hell it was but uh, but but play but play the tape watch okay this is um very disturbing to me why why do people have to be subjugated to this kind of behavior why does a four-year-old child have to sit and watch a man who has cared for her summarily done away with like he was a roach. Now, there's a part of me where I, I'm, I, I'm just in love with your passion, okay? The other side says to me, I wish I could find that same passion when people see the video of how this mother treats her daughter. I ask you to watch this. Okay, Dad. Get up! Get up, n***a! Get up! Leave that tree alone, n***a! Graham, I've got, I've got archives of this woman smoking weed, doing promiscuous things, you name it, getting stoned, everything in front of that four-year-old. To me, 
that's doing just as much, if not more, damage than what did what, what she witnessed in the car. Why yeah. is it there more outrage about that? It's the first time I've seen these clips, but that is true. Yeah. And it doesn't make one any better than the other. Not one. No child, a, a parent is entrusted with a life. I have two sons, I have grandchildren. They're not mine. I am the custodian of them. God gives everybody life. And it is our job to watch over and protect, especially the young. I'm not condoning that. And I'm not condoning a police officer that's overreacting to a situation. Tom, I, let me ask you. And I've been, I've been in those armed situations. I'm I've not going to question them. that at all. I have so much respect for all officers. I'm from a family of cops. He can tell you this when you guys go back outside. Tom, question for you, because I've asked this before of other cops. I asked this uh, universally to all of you, and we only have a minute, so yes or no. I have a lot of videos of the two of them doing an incredible amount of drugs. And I've asked, if they pulled them over and both of them were stoned, does that alter the mind? Have you pulled people over and dealt with people before who were stoned and you said, you know, reach for whatever, and you go to the wrong thing and there's a gun there and all of a sudden, yes or no? Yes. Is okay. that a supposition or is that a fact? I'm, what's a fact? That he smokes weed? No, not that, that he, he could have been stoned? That he was. That he was. I can tell you that we have videos. I, I can tell you we have videos of her saying that she and he are going to the market to get food and they're smoking pot in the car as they go. There you go. Take a look. There's one of the rides where they're going. And Wait, she's is passing that it back the forth. day of the incident? That's all I'm asking. No, we're, we're going to find out from the toxicology, toxicology report, right? That's going to tell us that. that. Yes. But what I'm saying is before we go hanging out this cop, who's Latino, by the way, to Doesn't drive. make a bit of difference. I know. I, I have arrested and sent cops to prison here in New York. I'm sure. It's, it's, Black it's, and it's white. A, except when I think we're <laughs> you know, guys. You know what? If the cop pulled him over for a legitimate reason that night. Michael, I'm sorry yes. I couldn't get you in more. Guys, we're, you know, tonight we're live, so it's not even like I could drag this over one more uh, segment. Don't go away. I'm going to have all these guys back next week.